Hey YouTubers, uh, here's a quick video, or maybe not so quick of a video, but anyways, here's a video on starting an audition that you recorded, editing it, and then adding effects, which would be compression and EQ. We add compression and EQ to our auditions to make them pop a little bit more, and also to get rid of unwanted unwanted frequencies or frequencies that are not even needed or nor present in our voice. Women, unless they have a very low voice, generally do not possess frequencies under 100 hertz. Uh, and so rolling that off, you can barely even tell any difference in the voice. So it's always a good idea to roll that off on, for some men if they've got very deep voices, you wouldn't roll off 100 because you'd take off some of the bass and some of the sound, but you could go down to like 70 or 60, depending on how low the voice is, how much of a baritone versus a, a tenor or a higher voice. And that applies for men and women. So you do that, and then you also add a little bit of brightness so it pops a little bit more, and then you add some compression, which makes the softer portions a little bit louder and the loudest portions a little bit softer, um, which is ideal for TV and radio and web. Here's a, uh, an, uh, an old audition that I did and it's before I have edited it, it down and so I'm going to do a quick edit of it and then I'm going to add some effects and then turn it into a thing. So here's what it, here's, here's what the, uh, the thing sounds Hi, like Dave so here it is <clears throat> so you got some you do anything to take care of that spot on your lawn so why not take there's care of that breaths spot on your and skin? there's some false starts you're a man over 50, you're in the group everything most like that here's a cancer, false start including melanoma the cancer that kills the cancer that kills one person every hour so we're going to clean all this up so let's go to the beginning and i'm going to take my two fingers and pinch out. If you're with a mouse, you would be doing it differently. But I'm going to click on this ruler, which is here, and Command-T, use my bracket to move to the right. Now this, there's a, a almost two second space, so I might move this up just a little bit. Okay, so, and that's even nothing, so I thought that that was the start of the track, so let's totally move this forward. There's a click there, a lip smack. That seems like the beginning of it, so let's take that and drag that back, so that's maybe a second after, half second after, something like that. So... You'd do anything to take care of that spot on your lawn, so why not take care of that spot on your skin? If you're a man over 50, you're in the group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma. Okay, there's a breath there. Command T, I'm gonna bracket back, bracket forward. Including melanoma, the cancer that kills, the cancer that kills. And I said the cancer and I screwed it up, so I'm going to go anywhere in there, Command T, bracket back. Oh, and if you don't click on that, you don't get the bracket, it moves forward, so. I'm going to Command-Z that, and I'm going to go all the way after. There's a probably a breath there. You can't see it, but I'm going to go right in front of that, and I'm going to move that to about where I was. So if you kind of go backwards, you can say... Including melanoma, the cancer that kills one person every hour. Check your skin for suspicious or changing spots, and ask someone you trust to check areas you can't see. Early detection can put you in a better spot. Go to you take that big breath out. Command T. Bracket forward. Bracket back. Go to spot. Go. And I screwed that one up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor or the playhead there. I'm going to bracket forward to where the the correct line is, and then I'm going to move it back to where my playhead was, so that then I don't even lose the place. It's in the exact same spot. Detection can put you in a better spot. Go back and listen to Go it. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out what to look for. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Okay, cool. And then I've got noise and a sniff and 
a smack and whatever and a breath. I think I did extra takes, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to bracket forward to the end of that line. There you go. And so then now, when you've got the whole thing, you got the whole thing there. Okay, so there, there's the whole thing. All right, so now that is cut out the major breaths. There are some pauses here, like here, in, in here, and in here, where I didn't breathe, so I didn't cut it out. I could cut those out, but for purposes of showing you how to do this, it's good enough. So the major... Um, False starts have been taken out, moved into the correct place. So here's a complete audition. Okay, so now we want to go and add some effects to it because there's currently nothing, nothing on it. If you click up here, which is this smart controls button or it looks like a knob, and you click on that, then your controls come up. Okay, you've got this that's a compressor and an EQ. If you look at the the plugins here if you if you scroll on this and look at your recording settings you've got that's your settings and if you if you scroll down you see your plugins if you click that open you've got a compressor and a channel EQ here's the switch for the compressor here's the switch for the EQ so if you click on the on this over here it'll turn it on if you click on here it'll turn it off so if it's in blue it's on if it's in gray it's not same thing here with the EQ. Now the EQ's on. Now the compressor is on. Okay, those are just general settings. So I'm going to turn them off for now. Let's look at the EQ. There's really nothing on here currently at, at, at that point. If you go into EQ and you click setting, I don't know if it even puts anything in. So you go down to setting and you go to this drop down. You can add stuff if you're recording drums or keyboards, anything like that. We're going to go to voice. We're going to look at voice. You've got all of these different ones, and they're all different purposes for music. You would EQ something completely different than you would EQ it for um, spoken word or for book on tape or audition or voiceover. So we're going to do for voiceover right now. We're going to look and see what that says. So pop vocal, slam, vintage, voiceover EQ. Okay, cool. Okay, so what it looks like it does, if you look at this at this grid, this is volume louder and softer and this is frequency along this axis which is going to be from bass to extreme treble like this is 20k is what dogs can hear and you pretty much can't hear it so if it was on and it is not on i'm going to click this button over here to turn it on it looks like there's a bump at around just under 2k 1.75k which is adding a little bit of brightness and then it looks like there's a little bit of brightness here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here in this one that looks like a slant, and that is a bass roll-off. Currently it's at 50. You can see it, the frequency is at 50, 24 dB per octave. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to move that over to uh, just under 100, probably about there. And then keep. I'm going to keep this here as it is. I can go in further and totally tweak this but that's probably fine if I go back to the controls it'll show me kind of a representation of what that was in addition there's also two sends here one for ambience and one for reverb and you have to make sure those are completely down because if you turn them up so why not take care of that spot on your skin if you're a man over 50 you're in the group most likely to develop so it just sounds like you're in a church or you're in a reverb chamber or you're you know have a delay on you. So this is a representation of what the EQ is. All right, so now then when we go to the compressor, let's go to the compressor and look at that. If you click in the middle there, this will come on and it'll give you a threshold and it'll give you a ratio and attack. You can change these for, for different things if you go to this drop down. And same thing with drums, keyboards, voice. Okay, so we're gonna go to voice. We don't want, want rock. We're gonna look over here and see if there's anything for voiceover, but there really isn't. And I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to vocal, vocal first. 
why I went with that, I'm not exactly certain, but I just figured it probably would be um, the first compressor in a chain of compressors. So the threshold is minus 14, which is about pretty good. The ratio is 3 to 3.1 to 1. Um, the ratio is for every bit of sound that is above the threshold, above this compressor threshold, it will decrease the volume at a ratio of 3.1 to every one it is over. Attack is 35 milliseconds and the gain is it's adding a little bit of gain um, to make up for the compression. So if we turn that on you'll see that this comes on and this comes on. So I'm gonna close out of this and we'll look, listen to this. You'd do anything to take care of that spot on your lawn. So why not take care of that spot on your skin? If you're a man over 50, you're in the group most likely to develop skin cancer. Okay, so if we, we listen to this without these things, and then I will slowly turn them on, you can hear the difference. Including melanoma, the cancer that kills one person every hour. Check your skin for suspicious or changing spots, and ask someone you trust to check areas you can't see. Early detection can put you in a better spot. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out what to look for. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Okay, so that is adding a little bit of compression and a little bit of EQ to your audition so that when you send it out now, now you go to share and you go export song to disc and you go test with EQ compression and you put it in your auditions folder on your desktop. You got auditions, boom, and MP3, highest quality, export, boom, you're done. There you go. And that's how you do it in GarageBand. Stay tuned for more videos on GarageBand, Audacity, Pro Tools, and Logic.